Okay, so it's that time of year again. I'm uh, running my nonprofit Operation Santa. So here is my free yard sale items. Um, we got a little bit of everything. We got, you know, the men's clothing. We got children's clothing. Just a little bit of everything. So. I just set it all out and uh, try to encourage everybody to come in and take what they want. Whatever they can pawn off on their sisters, brothers, neighbors, friends, whatever. And help me pack this stuff out of here. I got a few storage units full of this stuff. And so as people pack it out, I pack it in. We got some Christmas decorations. Uh, people are always coming in daily and uh, getting stuff. So we got women's clothing. Of course, you know, there's tons and tons of women's clothing. And then we also fit kids in snow boots, snow pants, and coats. That all happens. So you can tell it's the hoarder's dream. It's just right up my alley. So this is all stuff that needs to be gone through and uh, uh, set out. Tons of clothing, all different kinds of stuff. Just anything you can think of. And we just go through it and we just set it out here and let people come in and pick what they need and what they want and, and haul it out. Back here we have we have our uh, our coats, snow boots, snow pants, this stuff all has to be fitted. You bring your child in, we fit them with boots. Uh, coat, insulated, insulated pants, um, tons of stuff back there. So just you know, all different kinds of boots and everything. Uh, big need for that. Kids can't even go out and play at recess if they don't have the right gear. So you know, just uh, we do what we can. Um, when it gets time to put the boxes together. We've got um, crayons, the table's a mess now, but there's uh, coloring books, crayons, bubbles. All kids get a book. Yeah, see here. Gotta have a coloring books and all that. We got little blankets and and every, every child gets a book, age appropriate book, um, toothbrush, toothpaste. I'll, uh, I'll take you upstairs where the real magic happens. So uh, I'll be right back. All right, so up here is where the real magic happens. This is my toy room. Um, this is normally empty. It all uh, comes out of this storage right here. Everything is boxed up and put in here on the off season. But uh, we got a little bit of everything. So we got we kids games. This table is normally packed full and it's empty because, you know, the needs just getting greater and greater and uh, COVID really put a big hit on me. Um, we didn't close down. Everybody else did. So we were the only game in town when it come to Christmas. So, uh, so yeah, this, this room is usually normally pretty packed, but, but uh, we got it all set out right now. So it's just... Anything and everything you think, you know, we got stocking stuffers, um, just any kind of toys, footballs, as you can see, just a little bit of everything. Nerf, Legos, dolls, Barbies, Baby Yodas. So it hasn't begun yet. I haven't started putting boxes together. Once this uh, once this starts, this this table will be pretty bare, and uh, hopefully we get donations to fill it back up. So anyway, I just thought I'd give you a quick little rundown on my what I do the whole month of December. Pretty much a year-round thing, but but you know this is what it is. Um, what I can do for my community and. Uh, um, hopefully make a bunch of kids happy for uh, Christmas, right? Okay, so this is what it looks like after we get all the toys packed back up. 
This is what it looked like before we got started this year. Um, got everything back in, all the toys and everything stuffed back in, in here. Um, ready for next year. Got Santa put away, a plastic bag over his head. We don't want him to get dusty. So anyway, this is what it looks like when it's all packed back up in the, the storage here. And uh, this is what it looks like after we're done packing it all up out of here. Big empty, big empty room. All right. Okay, so this is a before and after picture of what the Union Hall looks like before we set up our Operation Santa. We just got done putting everything away, put it back the way it was when we started. And uh, so as you can tell, it's a lot of work to set this whole thing up, get all the racks, everything in place. But you know, uh, um, I don't got exact numbers. I figure right around maybe 120 families. I would be guessing probably, I would say, I don't know, 250 kids that we provided the Christmas for. So it's more than, uh, it's more than worth it. Um, it's my give back, pay it back. I didn't pay it forward. It's a picture of the lady that started it in 1981 and built it into what it is today. Um, she's uh, my inspiration. So thanks everybody for watching. And uh, uh, I hope you all had a Merry Christmas and definitely have a Happy New Year. And uh, well, I'll talk with you later.